commercial cinema is a very important aspect which I had totally ignored. Milan Luthria was telling me the other day, you know, he said, now you'll become a professional. Why is Imran not doing this role? Because that was the better role. I'm excited about Murder 3 because of the script, not because of the title. Your talent lies in your choices and my choices were not career-making choices. I felt that I have played the tough guy with a gun and I don't want to do that anymore. I do not want to get stuck in that mold. Everybody around me was feeling the brunt of it. So I said, no man, you know, here they are, I'm going to do something. I'm so versatile, I'm so versatile. But that uh, that does not always work. You might be versatile, but you need the, the project to carry you, uh, especially initially in your career. I thought I was carrying the project and I was not big enough. My boots were not big enough. I was under the delusion that uh, I just have to stand in front of the camera and people will flock to the theatres to see it, which is not the case, as I realised the hard way. You have to be part of the projects which people do come to see, people are excited about, which are marketed aggressively, and then only your work reaches the people, the real, the real consumers of your work. Which is where the shift came from after Once Upon a Time in Mumbai with, uh, with Balaji Motion Pictures producing that movie and Milan Luthria directing it, who's a big commercial director, and with Ajay Devgan in it. So that was always going to be a far-reaching prospect. So that's what happened. And then you did Sai Bivi or Gangster, which, which, which was a great script, great story, well-executed movie, and it also found its audience, also, although not as large. But that movie, in terms of money, was made on a very minuscule budget. So it was a big success, comparatively. And before Sahib Givi Gangster released, I signed Janna 2. I asked Bhatsab. Bhatsab said, ah, silence, I'm okay, silence, I'm school. Little, 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 little. So when Katie narrated the script to me, my first question was, Ki, why is Imran not doing this role? Because that was the better role. He says, no, 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 this, that. He wrote. So I said, okay. Then I said, okay, let's do it. So I did it. And it worked out well. Then I did another movie, it worked out well. I don't know. And then you do some movies which won't work out well, which is, uh, which is life, man. I don't see the clear picture, really. But I do see the next few months. I do see the movies I have to execute. Sometimes I think about them and say, Fuck, I'm going to do it. How am I going to do it? Because shooting every day is not my cup of tea, man. I mean, you are emotionally exhausted. You are physically exhausted to, to begin with. And then you're emotionally exhausted and then your choices become overlapped between characters. So that is something which, uh, it's the, too much work is actually clouding me. But then, uh, Milan Luthria was telling me the other day, you know, he said, <coughs> now you'll become a professional. You were indulgent before this, now you will become a professional. How to get there and do, and this is your job and get out of there. You don't have to bloody live those characters. You don't have to bloody, you know, uh, uh, be involved in that movie beyond the shooting hours. Which is not my style of working, which I will come back to, but this is it. You know, I'm, I have, earlier on I was very idealistic. Perfect picture, not realistic, not all movies serve the same purpose. They're not all movies serve the same purpose. Commercial cinema is a very important aspect which I had totally ignored. I had been offered big films earlier, but no, you know, they are commercial films. What do they know? But that's not the case. They know. They know how to reach out to people. And that's the change that I brought about in myself. I said, it's your idealism of being a part of this cinema is only going to be possible when you do that because even the independent filmmakers they take their scripts first to the stars and then they come to a fringe act which I was a fringe actor like me then I realized why not do those films and have that audience base with you and then do these films and kind of try and merge them together and that's what I'm trying to do <laughs> What is the maximum that will happen? Nothing. Nothing will happen. What? So what if you've got a small role? What's going to happen? People are going to say, yeah, he's now a small role actor. Nothing is going to happen. Yeah. You do the next one.
Yeah. The next one. It bother you. Yeah, it should not bother you. Although that question comes to your head, I told you earlier. The question comes to your head, but I never express it because it's useless. If they needed you more, they would keep you more. And if they don't need you more, then please be graceful about accepting it. If I look at it like I'm going to be the face of that brand, then I'm f***ed. I look at it in the sense that this is a script I have to do. These are the producers. This is the director. How am I going to get through this film to the other end is my worry all the time. In any movie I do, even in Jism, I Jism kar rahe, if you start thinking like that, you're already, you know, screwed about it. You can't. You just go through it uh, the best of your ability. Each day, every day is a, is a struggle, is a new thing and a, a new scene and a new location and a new set of working environment. And that's how you go through it. I'm excited about Murder 3 because of the script not because of the title.